There's four seconds left. The crowd is screaming. He takes the jump shot. Swoosh. This is precisely the exciting ending that every sports lover looks forward to. Today, I'm here to teach everyone about the sport of basketball. My own experience consists of playing the sport for over 10 years and attending many high school and college games. As you can see, this is my team in the first picture. This was after we won the game to get into playoffs. And the second picture was um, our home opener. First, I want to introduce you to the functions and positions of the basketball players. The first one is point guard. This is usually the shortest player on the court. Um, they bring up the ball, they're good at passing and dribbling, and they always help their teammates to get open. This is another picture of myself. In high school, I played the position of point guard. Um, the next position is shooting guard. This is the best outside shooter on the team. They're normally hard to guard, and they're good at getting open. They're also good at ball handling, just like the point guard. The third position is a small forward. They're the best all-around player. They can play inside and out, which means they can drive and shoot outside shots. The fourth position is the power forward. This is the second biggest and strongest player on the court. They're good at posting up and making small jump shots. They are also valuable for getting rebounds on the offensive and defensive end, and they set screens for their teammates. The last member on the court is the post, also known as the center. They are the biggest and strongest player on the court. They play in the low post area right around the basket. They also jump to get the tip off at the beginning of the game. They are also responsible for getting rebounds, and they guard the other team's tallest player. There are only five players on the court during a game, but the last important position on the team is the sixth man. He is the first sub off the bench, and they fulfill every role and position. They energize and puff up the team, and they have all around good team skills. Next, I want to inform you about the rules of a basketball game. First are the violations. These consist of walking and traveling, double dribbling, backcourt, and time restrictions. First is walking and traveling. This is when you are holding the basketball and walking at the same time. You always must be dribbling while you have the basketball in your hands. Second is a double dribble. You, always can, you can only bounce the basketball with one hand. If you use two, that is considered a violation and a double dribble. Third is backcourt. This is um, after you're on defense and get the ball and you go to your offensive side, you cannot cross back over the half court line. This is also a violation. And the fourth violation is time restriction. This is after the other team scores and you're on defense, if they decide to press, you have 10 seconds to get it over the half court line. If you don't get it over in 10 seconds, then the other team gets the ball. Next about rules and regulations are fouls. Just to name a few, there are charges, blocks, technical fouls, and things like hitting, pushing, and slapping, which may also result in a technical foul. <clears throat> charges are when the offense drives into defense, and that is illegal if the defense is placed there first. Blocks are, on the other hand, when offense is coming in and the defense, um, and the defense runs into the offense. A technical foul is when a player intentionally hits another player, such as like hitting or pushing, and it's not part of the game. Finally, our penalties are consequences of committing fouls. Some of the penalties are possession of the ball. If you commit a foul, that means the other team will get the ball. If you commit a foul while someone is in the act of shooting, then they get to shoot foul shots and score for their team. Finally, if you foul too many times, you can foul out of the game and have to sit the rest of the game. You get a total of five fouls during the game. If you reach that limit, then you'll have to sit. Finally, after learning about the positions and rules of the basketball game, I want to tell you about the different scoring opportunities. First, there is a regular basket. Regular baskets are worth two points, and you can take either a layup or a jump shot. Jump shots are shots taken anywhere inside this arc. Um, next is the three-pointer. This is when a basket is made anywhere behind the arc. Sometimes in games, mostly in pros, when there is not a lot of time left, they will just throw up a Hail Mary shot from like, um, even on their defensive end, and if it goes in, then it'll be worth three points. 
Another form of scoring is the foul shot, which I mentioned earlier. This is when, if you are fouled in the act of shooting, you will get chances to score. If you're sh shooting a two-pointer, then you get two chances to take a shot. And this is the foul line where you shoot from. If you're shooting a three-pointer, then you get three chances to shoot. But if you make the shot, then you only get one chance to shoot the foul shot. This leads me into my next point, where it's possible to get a four-point play. Although it's rare, if you get fouled on a three-pointer and still make it, then you also get the foul shot. And if you make that, then you'll get four points for your team. To learn more about basketball, you can check out the March Madness Tournament. This is the college NCAA basketball tournament that occurs every March and is televised. As you can see, basketball is a fun sport that is easy to learn. Whether we're inside watching the big championship game with our families or out in the backyard shooting with them, it's a great way to it's a great sport to know the basics of.